hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today work with the illuminated logo or like uh, illuminated logo whatever it is uh, neon logo whatever you can tell so this one is a mock-up and i will provide you the mock-up download link in every description before that i want to tell something about this so this type of thing is uh, the advantage from the smart object so after downloading the mock-up you will find out something like that and here's some inst instruction where you will download from please check my video description for the download link if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification in uh, illustrator i just written down something here uh, i'll provide you the font download link like that and this one uh, the underlining or this type of uh, line how to add suppose you are in this font and now go to the text tool again and just press the slash and make this one bigger more bigger and right press create outline and then press the shape and hold it and rotate this one and you can just put it on here or under the portion where you want to just give okay nice and you can select these things press ctrl c or command c and then here is smart object which is the replace the skin and double click over there it will open up a new window and here the options place your logo just double click over there and then you can place it by pressing ctrl or command v that means the paste and hit ok and making it bigger and hit the tick button press ctrl or command a and making it in to the middle and press controller command s it will save here previous window you can get over here and you can make it more bigger by pressing controller command t and making it bigger like that and hit the tick button and save this one and you are getting the logo in the previous window which is the wall in the wall like that so one thing is that i want to put the photoshop logo over there so how to do that go to the file and place embedded options from here i have some svg or xd or ps or lr suppose in a lightroom i want to provide the lightroom logo like that but just placing over there and saving this one if i save this one and the previous window that means the wall window is nothing it's a totally blank or white portion so we have to cut the blank area that means this area and we have to just give it like cut out so right press over there and create like restylize the layer and go to the magic one tool select one just because of this one the same color and just press the delete button this portion will delete and then press controller command s okay it will like a uh, cut out and now let's see in this portion that means the previous window in the wall yeah you are getting the lr that means this one is the creative one you are you may have the logo of your company or you can provide uh, like your client the logo you made according to the client instruction and you can provide like that and this one is the way and saving this one by pressing ctrl or command s and this one in this window it will save it will take time and provide the final output just because of lots of layers and the uh, effects over there that's why it's taking time okay fine yeah and now uh, actually this one was like that but i changes the color how i made this one just going to the adjustment layer and the hue saturation from here select the colorized portion and it will provide the color and which color you want to give over there you can do that suppose the lightroom color is uh, like that you can provide like that or like this or this if you want to make the saturation up you can use that panel here that's good that's creative so you can use like that suppose in a pink options in a red options the violet blue whatever you want and this one is a technique to make your mock-up more creative and you can 
uh, place your uh, logo into mockup section so if you want to find the font and mockup download link in every description please check out if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did thumbs up and comment on my video comment section until the next video stay safe stay at home i may be signing out today bye bye